Hello everyone and welcome to the Deep Blue Renegade podcast. My name is Molly, also known as the Deep Blue Renegade, and I'd like to welcome you guys to episode 97. Today is Sunday, July um, 26th, and I'm glad you could join me today. I know I'd said I'd record yesterday, but it turned out that I had put way too many things on my plate. <laughs> so, um, so I'm recording today. It's pretty quiet and chilly right now, so I figured it would work. I'm having Kona coffee today, so very delicious. Um, and I'm guessing it's going to be a pretty short episode, so I don't have an awful lot to share today. Um, so I did manage to get some work done on my short row shuffle socks. Um, so I think I did maybe like two more rounds of the short row pattern. I still have quite a bit more to go, but this is probably my project that's closest to being done right now. So I guess to, to compare, I still have quite a bit more to go still. Um, so I'll have a couple more rounds of that, but they go pretty quick when I sit down and actually do them. So that shouldn't be the end of the world. It, this is um, Wilmessa Twin in the Suzanne colorway, and it was very pretty. The other thing that's been getting some love is the Fragile Heart Shawl. So this is um, a Beanets pattern, um, and I am now into the lace chart. So. Um, or, what is it, or the border chart. So I did my two repeats of the lace guy, and now, there we go. So I did my two repeats of that, and um, we are good to go there. So it is um, coming along nicely. Um, I weighed my ball of yarn, and I'm at the right about the halfway point right now. So um, hopefully I have enough to do it with this version because, um, oh, what is it? Because no one else has made the medium size before with this yarn. But um, I did switch to bigger needles, so I'm now on sevens. Um, and we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm not to like the crazy beaded part. I'll probably have to visit the bead store in order to pick up a couple more beads to finish this guy. Uh, and then the third thing I have on the lead, excuse me, is my hitchhiker. Um, I guess I stopped in the middle of a row last. Reaching it slightly. Okay. So I stopped in the middle of a row. So this is out of Will My Pure in the Sammy colorway. I guess I could just finish the row on camera for you guys since it is going to be such a short little episode. Hopefully that insect noise isn't too loud. <laughs> I can't see the, the input um, right now, so it's a mystery to me. So this is um, The Hitchhiker by Martina Bim, and she does make such beautiful little patterns, so excited to be working on this. Um, this has been my main purse knitting. Um, I was at sort of an awkward spot with the Fragile Heart Shawl because I needed to switch needle sizes. I actually did, I could have worked on it Friday night at knitting because it turned out I needed to do one more row before I actually needed to switch, but eh, it's not the end of the world, so. But this wasn't very exciting knitting for a Friday night knitting, but it does have such pretty pooling. Um, what is it? How many points am I up to now? Probably not too many more than last week, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 17. So I'm up to 17 points now out of 42, and it's only going to get longer and longer and longer. So this might this might take a while to get done. Thinking about it, because <laughs> this is supposed to be the fast part. <laughs> it is fun to work on, and it's totally mindless. But it is going to be a long project because it isn't very exciting knitting. It's probably good in the dark knitting. Mm. I totally forgot to bring down a skein. Oh well, it's not the end of the world. 
So three knitting projects is a little bit high for me. Um, so I'm not sure why it is that I decided to focus on the Fragile Heart Shawl to finish, because I'm pretty sure I'm closer to being done on the socks, but maybe I'll just pull out the socks anyways and go at it. They're not very exciting knitting either, but it looks like I have a backlog of boring retreat knitting. <laughs> such is life. Um, I did end up bringing this along with me to knitting as well. Um, so this is my um, Hello Yarn in the pigment colorway um, and I'm spinning the yellows separately from the purples on this guy and I got a bit more done on it. I've gone into the second little piece and I think I have maybe six little pieces of fiber in this bag. Um, so I think Look at, like I haven't weighed it, so I'm not sure, what is it? I haven't weighed it, so I'm not sure how much um, of the yellow there is. The yellow is definitely the smaller portion of it, um, but it is fun to spin on the little Jenkins. It, it was good fun to spin on the Jenkins, but I realized some of my other projects needed love too. So um, this has been a, what is it, a really enjoyable experience with Hellion, so I don't so maybe, oh, maybe not so crazy. What is it? Well, that's the trouble, right? Because Hello Yarn is very, very hard to obtain. So I got access to Hello Yarn because the Knit Girls bought some for whatever in order to put in our um, goodie bags and stuff like that. Um, and in Qu Complete Twisted Arbitrary, they definitely talk about being on the wait list and not on the wait list and whatever else. Um, and it's a little bit easier to get it if you are um, in the club but then you have to deal with whatever colorways you get into the club and if I'm going to join a club I'm going to join the mess club because I only need one like if I'm going to be in a subscription I'm just going to be in one <laughs> you know what I mean and Ness is pretty hard to get a hold of too so I'm just talking about unobtainable things <laughs> but um so it would be easier to get things if I was in the club. I'm not sure whether or not it would be a good idea to join the club, but it has been enjoyable. So maybe if it comes up in D stash and their colors are really light, then we should snag it. Because it's definitely, what is it, the Falkland has been a joy to spin. And I'm, yeah, that's a short end. The Rambolet, yeah, it was all right. So, But maybe it's just the case where I'm using my Jenkins, and that's a lovely tool, and who knows. Mm, coffee. And the other thing I'm working on, oh, I'll put my coffee far away, is um, I am spinning away on my Tour de Fleece project. Now today is the last day. So I don't think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it, but we shall tip the wheel into view. There we go. So this is um, Chocolate Shetland Fleece number 13. Number 12 I finished yesterday, um, skeined up. I got, um, what is it, 42 wraps. So I got um, 84 yards on that one. So that, that's a pretty good number. I'm trying to hit in that 80 target anyways. Um, and I'm spinning this guy. Um, I was like, if it was sort of the case where if I finished it today, then I finished it today, and then I could post in. The Tour de Fleece slides for Completely Twisted and Arbitrary because they asked for four ounces instead of two, and these are two ounce gains. Um, so I'm a little bit worried because what is it? My mom might be having an allergic reaction to my hay, which is full, chock full of in here. So um, I'm not sure how much more I'm going to be able to spin on this while she's here. So hopefully it isn't that. Oops, dropping the bobbin on. Hopefully it isn't the hay. Um, we're going to try and make sure she is as comfortable as possible while she's here. But we'll figure something out. Um, and that will be, so the bag I'm working at now is my last full prepped one. Um, and eh, I'm probably like half an ounce in um, as of whatever this morning. Um, and then I have a five gallon bucket with water and all of the fleece I really wanted to prep. And honestly, I should just toss the rest. 
Like, I might hold on to it until the project is done, but I really, I should just toss the rest. Um, I ended up sitting down and finishing, finish shaking everything out and getting it all separated. Um, but I haven't actually done the hot water Dawn dish soap full on clean. Um, and maybe that'll be something that I do this afternoon once I decide it is in fact impossible to finish spinning. Um, whatever. Like, the goal apparently that got put down was finish the stinking sweater spin. And um, I, it turns out that was in fact an impossible goal for three weeks without having everything prepped and ready to go. So. What I probably will be pretty close, or what is it, what I did do was I did spend six ounces of that fiber and likely will be pretty close to have spun, um, what is it, have spun eight, um, what, another eight ounces is pretty, pretty awesome for the sweater spin, especially in like a three week period, so. But I, when writing down the goals, said finish. I think <laughs> that ended up that that ended up defeating me. But I I still need to tag my yarn, and I'll probably end up tagging my. Um, I ended up putting in the thread my more arty yarn as well. So I had um, whatever my samples from Sarah Anderson's spinning class definitely qualify in in my kind as an art yarn. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm not even sure. I'm not even sure what in the world I'll be doing with it. Unfortunately, when I did the wash and thwack, um, the blue from the bat ended up, um, what is it, staining the white Falkland, which oh my gosh, I can't believe that. So maybe I'll need to use it as a dyeing experiment as well. Because it'd be nice if it was all just the same color. Um, I'm not even really sure what it is, aside from looking pretty, what it would be. So, I might need to dye both of the, or all of the white skeins, um, blue or something, and, and call it a loss there. And I have no clue where that bat came from, so maybe it was something that Sarah Anderson prepped herself. I know that she had dyed, um, what is it, the um, top. So, apparently she used to be a buyer for some reason. But unfortunately, what is it? I'm just looking around and being like, heh, nothing. <laughs> Not much to talk about this week, which is fine. Um, it was... I don't know if I'm going to get in a jag and try to finish something quickly, um, just because, whatever. There, there are things that I would like to start, like I, I need to start a baby blanket. Um, I showed you guys the yarn for that last week. Um, and what is it? Once I finish the sweater spin, then I'll want to start that. So it's sort of a case where I need to get some stuff off so I can get some new stuff on. Um, and maybe it just turns out the hitchhiker is going to be background person knitting for a long time and I just need to haul in the other two projects and be like, these need to be finished. <laughs> I don't know. What is it? You just gotta be like a little bit goal oriented while podcasting. So, those are my goals, though they might be somewhat unrealistic. Because, <laughs> like, whatever, I have my sights on those socks and that shawl to get finished up. Like, the Hello Yarn, like that, that can linger for a while. That's an enjoyable little thing. Um, the sweater spin, that, that needs to be done. <laughs> But apparently not finished before whatever the end of July 26th. So that one's unrealistic. But now that I have everything soaking, so it's soaked for what is it, a couple of days now, um, it should be ready for the washing step. And that'll, I'm going to try a slightly different way of doing it. So I ended up getting thick rubber gloves. So I'm probably going to just take water from the hot water heater. Um, and use that as my hot water source instead of um, boiling water on the stove because it's I could probably get water to boil outside right now. It is hot, hot. So, um, so I'm not sure what that's going to be, or because it whatever the state where it is right now, I'd probably be doing it in the garage. 
um, which would be bug free, and so then I could do that in the evenings if need be. Or maybe I end up procrastinating a little bit longer and waiting till um, whatever my mom heads out. But we had a lot of fun today. We were figuring out what food to make this week and figuring out what was missing in the house and other such things. So it's been good. <laughs> Honestly, I'm, I'm whatever, I'm, I'm rambling a little bit, so, I don't know, we're about 15 minutes now. <laughs> that isn't too bad in the grand scheme of things, I think, because I have nothing new to share about my projects, because they're not very exciting. Um, so, um, it seems likely that I will be able to record next week. Um, what is the day next week? I think, is that going to be the 31st or not? I'll just sit down on the computer. Since whenever I'm in this rambling sort of mood. Come on, clock, you can do it. Probably should have pulled it up beforehand. Hmm. It's taking its time still. I'll try clicking again. <laughs> still not coming up. Oh, there we go. So. It will be August 2nd. Um, yeah, it will already be in August. Won't that be exciting? And I won't screw up and say it's the month of June and it's really July. <laughs> oh man, I'm like dripping sweat. It's so gross. <laughs> Perhaps it was a mistake recording that. It's nice and it's sort of nice in the shade, but it's still really hot. But yeah, so I should be able to record the second. And I'm really glad you guys could join me today. And I look forward to talking again next week. So take care, guys. Bye-bye.